in Fort Worth. Now meeting here, game two for the Bears, game three for the Spartans of the new season. Settle in, glad you're with us on a Friday evening. Baylor basketball versus Norfolk State here from Waco. Gary Maxwell puts the ball in the air, tip control by Flo Thamba. We're underway for the Bears. Keontae George into the front court. Bears with the weave up top. Into the starters in a moment. LJ Cryer, Adam Flagler, Keontae George, the three guards for the Bears. Pat Baylor is, uh, I want to say guard heavy, but can you ever have too many guards? Jalen Bridges shoots and is fouled from the corner. Yeah, I think he'll get three, too. John, you're right. I mean, three guards is going to be, I think, the norm for Baylor basketball this year. I think sometimes you'll see four guards on the floor because they are as deep in the backcourt as any other team in the country. And then Bridges is a guy, the guy at the line now, who can pop out and, and play facing the basket. So uh, they've got some, some pop offensively at four of the five spots on the floor. Jalen Bridges does have three free throws coming his way. Fouled in the act of shooting a three-pointer. Bridges, the transfer from West Virginia. 6'7", 225-pound junior, originally out of Fairmont, West Virginia. Starters for the Bears. You saw that. Flo Thamba, Keontae George, LJ Cryer, Adam Flagler, and Bridges. Bridges knocks down all three, a 3-0 Baylor lead, 23 seconds in. And this is a familiar sight, the Bears with full court pressure, uh, probably working on it, but I think that's part of their game too. I mean, they, they are looking to press 94 feet. It's a constant pressure, and they've got the depth to be able to do that. Starters for Coach Robert Jones in Norfolk State, Ings, Beal, Joe Bryant, Tate, and Bankston. Veteran crew that uh, Coach Jones brings into the Farrell Center tonight. A bounds over to Baylor. Bears in the gold tonight at home in the Farrell Center. Ball goes over to Baylor, up 3 nothing. early going. Talked to Jalen Bridges after the game the other night and asked him to describe his game. He said, I'm a Swiss Army Knight. <laughs> I thought that was pretty nice. That kind of says it all, and it really does speak to his ability to play four out of the five positions on the floor. There are the five Baylor starters, the three guards on the floor. Flagler, floater in the paint, left it short, no good. Up to floor in a hurry as Joe Bryant lost the handle, dive on the floor. Looks like a tie-up, finally a whistle. That body's all over the floor going for that loose ball for both teams. Credit George Beal Jr. for diving on the floor after that ball. Coach Scott Drew in his 20th season as head coach here at Baylor. Unparalleled heights in the Baylor basketball program under Coach Drew. The 12th coach of the year each of the last three seasons. And a national championship banner hangs in the Farrell Center from two years ago. There's an open three. Nice, easy three from straight away. Ties the game. The three by Chris Bankston. Yeah, they're worried about Bryant, but they're also worried about Bankston. In fact, Robert Jones, the Norfolk State coach, was saying, a couple of years ago when they uh, got into the NCAA tournament, played Gonzaga, they were a 16 seed. Gonzaga was a one, and they just got hammered. And what he took away from that game was got to get physical, got to get bigger, got to get more athletic at the wings. And so he's gone out and done that. Bankston is a key addition to this team to allow them to, to just be more physical. They, they know they're always, when they get into a tournament, going to be a low seed, which means they're going to play a high seed. They got to be physical to have a chance. Unfazed, though. I mean, we saw that last year, the way they played Baylor. Bears won the game, really pulled away in the second half. Ooh. How about Flyer? A little step back three for the triple that puts Baylor up 6 3. You know, John, in the games that he played a year ago, he was a 48% three point shooter. And uh, he's one of those guys that when he misses one, you kind of think, what happened? Flo Thamba, I think he took a charge away from the ball under the bucket. Well done, Flo. The ball goes over to Baylor. That's not something uh, that is an official stat, charges, uh, but the coaches absolutely chart those. And uh, I would say this point in the season, Flo Thamba is the team leader. It's what he does best. Again, nothing flashy, but what he's supposed to do, he does every single night. There's winners on Monday in their season opener. Flagler's pass deflected and stolen by Bankston. Up the floor in a hurry. Left hand layup is good by Dana Tate. Yeah, again, the wing positions for Norfolk State, very athletic. Great look that time by Tate. 
taking it a couple of strong dribbles and finishing at the rim. Another three by Cryer in and out. Loose ball tipped out. Keontae George tracks it down. To Cryer, right side three. No good. Skips over the rim. Another offensive rebound. Cryer again. Give him a three, and that one is no good. Three shots at it, finally. The Spartans come away with the loose ball. Yeah, I don't know if he's ever missed three in a row in his <laughs> life. He was wide open on each of the three. Good shots, good looks. They just didn't go down there for Cryer. That's going to be a foul on Jalen Bridges, his first. Norfolk State coached by Robert Jones. He is in his 10th season. Really interesting background. We'll talk about over the course of the night. At one time, a uh, concert promoter. We worked with uh, Fitty Scent a little bit. Had a chance to visit with him earlier, and I said, did I say that right? And he's, he smiled and said, he was nice. He said yes. Well, <laughs> in his 10th year, and uh, what a job he's done. I mean, right now, Norfolk State owns the MIA. You've got to play through Norfolk State to get out of that league. Good look at Joe Bryant here, 6'1", 205. This guy, John, is a 91% free throw shooter. Off to uh, a, a rocky start at the line. He's made just four of eight, gets his first one down here, but averages 17 points a game. Big, rugged guard, very experienced and savvy. Gets a couple down here, and we're tied at well, Norfolk State up by one, 7-6 on those free throws. Three minutes, seven seconds in. Flagler in a hurry up the floor, drives, kicks into the corner. Three by George, rolls all the way around the rim and falls in. Talk about a shooter's touch. We saw it there by the freshman, Keontae George. Yeah, and, and a good look at... George's willingness to share the basketball not only is a big-time score, but he'll give it up he's, he's happy to play away from the ball. That's his first assist of the game Nine seven bears on top Bounce into the paint bridges trying to hold his ground defensively does a good job there shot No good by Chris Ford Up the floor and a hurry George again a three and a foul He'll have a chance at a four-point play. And this guy's just a player, John. I said a minute ago, he can score. Good example of that there. Just catch and shoot. He's strong enough to take the contact, finish the shot. Now he's got a chance for a four-point play. But he had seven assists in the first game that Baylor played in the open floor. And that's the nice thing about a true score. He is not hesitant. When he catches it, it is going up. The term volume shooter, volume score certainly applies to him. But I thought, especially in the first game, he wasn't selfish one bit. You mentioned the seven assists. Yeah, not at all. John, you think to the national championship team, uh, I thought the hallmark of that team was their ability to share the basketball, led the Big 12 in assists. And when you've got guards like Baylor does, you got to share it. And uh, Keontae George showed the other night he is more than willing to do so. And he's a penetrator. He does a lot of things on the offensive end. Deontay, seven points. Bears lead 13 to seven. That's going to be a charge. That is a charge by Chris Bankston. Drawn by Bridges. Baylor's ball following a timeout. Fast start. Both of these two wings played in that ball game not particularly well, which is why I think Norfolk State has circled this game on their calendar. And it doesn't get any, any easier for that team as they go on to play over the next week or so. UCLA and Houston. <laughs> yeah, how about that? How about that schedule? At UCLA yep. coming up on uh, Monday. All right, back to play. Caleb Lohner is on for the Bears out of Flower Mound. A transfer from BYU. Assist, Deontay George. Flo Thamba with the bucket. Yeah, and that's George's second assist in the game. And one thing that, that Flamba, Flo Thamba has struggled to do a little bit over his career is finish at the rim. Great example there. Not only did he finish, he got the bucket. He's got a chance to get a three-point play. And when he is able to do that and get points at the line, free throw is good, completes a three-point play. Baylor is really, really hard to guard. It's a 9-0 run by the Bears to build a 16-7 lead. Dale Bonner is also off the Baylor bench. Four and a half minutes in, first half. Joe Bryant dribbles on the perimeter. Gives the ball away to Dana Tate. Tate spots a cutting along the baseline. Christian Ings, nice play. Ings dunks it home. Yeah, that, that breaks a 10-0 run by Baylor. Baylor's made its last three shots. And, and that 10-0 run, John, happened in 53 seconds. Wow. Gives you an idea of the firepower offensively that Baylor brings to the floor. There's worked the ball around the perimeter. Bonner 
to Cryer for three. No good, back iron. Tried to chase down his own miss, tipped it. George has it, Bears keep it there half of the floor. Now Bonner on the right side. Gets it back outside to Loner. Good ball movement, swing it around to the corner. Three by George off the mark, no good. Bryant rebounds for Norfolk State. Yeah, this is a and a steal at the perimeter. George will dunk it for the Bears. You know, we, we bragged on him, his ability to share the ball, to assist others, make threes, had a four-point play a second ago. You talked, John, about his play on the defensive end. Doesn't necessarily have the edge that he's going to have to have in the Big 12, but he's got the ability to make plays on both ends. That steal and dunk has really ignited the crowd. And he's got nine. It's 18-9, to nine. Baylor on top of Norfolk State. What a start to this game by the freshman, Keontae George. Drive in and not a charge, but a travel is called on Chris Ford. Turnover Spartans. Bears have the ball back, leading 18 to 9. That is another. I mean, this is only his second game. The crowd is figured out. This is a guy that's going to really make things happen. Langston Love onto the floor. 6'5 redshirt freshman out of Universal City, Texas. Had the uh, knee injury in the scrimmage last year. Had to rehab the surgery, the rehab from that on his right knee, and is, uh, you know, to be honest, still working back to 100%. I bet he looked really good on Monday. Yeah, I mean, there, there are other guys, John, that had lingering injury, injuries a year ago. You would like to say Baylor is 100%, but, you know, prior with that foot injury, you think it's completely healed, but you wince a little bit when he goes down. Same thing with Flagler and his knees. Uh, so, you know, just work to do there. Uh, and, and, you know, a year ago, John, when we were doing injury reports, it felt like a beatdown. <laughs> it was. And I just don't think that's going to be the case this year, knock on wood for Baylor. Yeah. Say like prayers of safety over all these guys on, on both teams. Nice backdoor cut, bounce pass, basket is good. Shot by Kahim Brown, his first points tonight, makes it 18 to 11. Yeah, Bryant made that pass look easy, but it wasn't. I mean, it had to thread the needle. A guy was going back door, and that was about 25 feet, a bounce pass from Bryant. Get an idea of just how strong he is to make that pass and get it there on time. Langston Love on the perimeter. Gathers the ball, being harassed out there. Gets the ball away to Flagler. To Caleb Lohner, up, shot no good. But a whistle and a foul. This man over to help him back to his feet is another of the Baylor newcomers, Josh Ojan Wuna, 6'10 freshman from Nigeria. Yeah, nice look there by Loner and Ojan Wuna there to pick it up and, and follow. John, I, I kind of view him as the heir apparent to Jonathan Chumwa Chachua. He's not Chachua yet, but he has that kind of motor, and he's bigger. He's 6'10, 230 pounds. And that's a guy that they're really going to accelerate. They've, they've got to get him ready for Big 12 play. He hasn't played a whole lot, and so he's a little hesitant. And when he gets things figured out, can anticipate, be a little more proactive than reactive, he's going to make a huge impact. Loner shooting free throws. Bears were 29 of 43. A ton of free throws in that season opening win over a Mississippi Valley State. But uh, not a bad percentage, 67%. I think they'd like to be better. But a ton of opportunities at the free throw line in that first game. Reach in foul on Caleb Lohner, the BYU transfer. Bears up 19 to 11, 13 minute mark, first half. Yeah, John, they, they did get to the free throw line, and that's, a, that's something that really good guard oriented teams do. They've taken seven free throws in this game, made six of those. That's an opportunity or just another way for them to score. The guards create those. There's Bryant drives in. Layup no good. Offensive rebound. Put back and a foul. Shot is good by Chris Ford. 6'8", fifth-year player out of Chesterfield, Virginia. If the board's hard, he'll have a chance at a three-point play. You know, Robert Jones, the Norfolk State coach, has said, We've got to get more physical. Well, that's pretty physical right there. I mean, on the offensive glass, these guys are a handful. They're big, they're strong, they're quick, they're athletic, and they are hungry for the basketball. Free throw short, and he gets his own miss. Bryant, a three. No good. Back iron. Another offensive rebound for Norfolk State. Very active on the boards. Bryant will drive as his pocket picked by Loner. Loner will take it all 
all the way, and he lost the handle. Stolen away by Christian Ings. Ings brings it up. End to end action. Shot, no good, and a charge is called. That is Langston Love who drew the charge. Yeah, another charge for Baylor. That's your best defense, really, on a fast break. And Love could see it coming. 31 got a little bit out of control, and I think Love anticipated that. Your best defense when uh, you're in that spot is to stand your ground, take the punishment, and get the ball back. Nice play by Langston Love. That's another guy, John, that has a, a real high ceiling for Baylor. He's not 100% playing with a knee brace. When he gets that, that thing off, he'll be closer to it, but he's going to help them a lot. How about being willing to take that charge? Just going to have the major knee surgery. Flagler, a sliver of an opening is all he needs, and he knocks down the three. His first made three tonight. Yeah, firepower. I mean, four of nine now from the three-point line for the Bears. They've made five of their last seven shots, and they're up 22-13. 11.42 mark, first half. On the perimeter, it's Ford with the ball. Drive a strip by Bonner. Bonner took it away from him. Starts the break the other way. Love back to Bonner. Into the corner to Bridges. And a push and a foul. Foul on Norfolk State. Timeout on the floor. Bears with the lead. 22-13. Back in a moment. Baylor is 81-13 and 13 over the last three seasons, which is the nation's best record by a Power 5 team. Wow. I mean, you think about that. Playing in the toughest league in the country, the Big 12, and me being able to put that kind of record together is uh, just phenomenal. It's stunning. And so much success on the court, but Coach Drew is just such a perfect fit for Baylor, the mission of Baylor University, uh, the culture of joy that he had the huge platform to talk about during the national championship season. Jesus first, others second, yourself third. Just, a, you know, a tremendous fit for Baylor University. You know, the interesting thing, John, you ask any player on the team now or any player that has played for Coach Drew what the culture of this team is or the program and to a man, they would say, Jesus, others, you. Yeah. It's phenomenal. Bryant passes along the baseline in a double team. Flo Thamba took it away. Turnover, Spartans. Running the floor, Jalen Bridges will dunk it. Well, John, we talked a lot about defensive pressure, and the Bears are able to do that, but they put offensive pressure on you. They're just relentless in their pursuit of the glass. And right now, they've got Norfolk State back on its heels. It's a 7-0 run now by the Bears over the last minute and 20 seconds. So it's it's scoring in bunches. You can see off the uh, off the rebound by, or the steal by Thomba the other way. John, it is two passes and a dunk. There's not a lot of dribbling. They go from one end of the floor to the other faster than uh, uh, most teams that they're going to play this year. And it came off a turnover. So they turned the turnover into quick points. Biggest lead of the half for the Bears at 26-13. Love to Bridges. Bamba pops out to Love for three. Shot no good. Fight for the rebound. They're going to call that on uh, Flo Thamba. <laughs> hands, palms up, saying, yeah. who me? You know, I, I'm not sure he's convinced he's ever committed a foul <laughs> in his career, but the good news is he's in the fray. And, and, John, we talked about the physicality of Norfolk State, and they have brought this to the game. I mean, the rebounding battle is dead even at seven. The difference has been Baylor's ability to get the ball in transition. They have forced eight turnovers, and Baylor has 12 of his 26 off of those turnovers. That's the wow. difference. Wow, wow. 26-13 lead for the Bears. Halfway point, first half. Ten minutes to go before halftime. Three is no good. Fight for the rebound, and Ford comes down with it. Bryant, reverse layup is good, and a foul. Joe Bryant, Jr. will have a chance at a three-point play. I mean, this guy was the 2022 MEAC Player of the Year. He's won the last two MEAC Tournament MVP awards. First guy to do that in nearly 30 years. He's also a mid-major All-American. I mean, this guy is, is the go-to guy for Norfolk State. And you can see why. I mean, when you've got a point guard who can operate the way he does and can get under the rim against uh, Thamba and other big guys and take it right to them and find a way to get the ball in the hole and get to the free throw line, that's a special player. 
Leaves the free throw short, won't get the three-point play. 26-15 the score. The bucket ends a two-minute, 46-second scoring drought by the Spartans. They still lead it by 11. George, three, Boom. straight away. It's good. Get used to that. We're going to see a lot of those from Keontae George. Yeah, no hesitation. I mean, he knows when he's going to be open, and when he catches the ball, it is catch and shoot immediately. And it's a really nice, quick release. He gets off the floor, and right now he is hard to guard. He's got 12 in the game, four or five shooting. Three of those three-pointers. There's a three, right corner, no good. Caleb Lohner flies in for the rebound. But a flop is called. Yeah. And new this year, Pat, a, a you don't get a warning. That's right. First flop is a technical. That's a pretty significant uh, rule change or rule adjustment. Yeah, and, and uh, there it is. And, you know, it's not a bad uh, not a bad attempt, I think, but it's a class B technical, one free throw, no warning. A year ago it was a warning. And I think the rules committee just said, we're serious about this, <laughs> so we're going to put some teeth into that rule. And that's an easy bucket uh, for Baylor, a free throw anyway. You, you see that meeting? We're tired of all these flopping. What can we do about it? I know. No warning. It's Here's a technical. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if we're serious about it, let's not talk about yeah. it. Yeah. Let's take action on it. Prior the free throw, the technical free throw, Baylor doubles up Norfolk State 30-15. to 15. Nine-minute mark, first half. Cryer drives on the baseline, trying to save it in bounds, can't do it. Turnover Bears. Yeah, it's just not Cryer's night, at least in the first, uh, what, 12 minutes of the game. One for five. He never goes one for five. But uh, the good news is the cupboard is not bare. I mean, this team is so deep that there are other places they can go to get points. Cryer is just one piece of that. Now, he's an important piece, but they can survive on a night where he's not shooting it well. Pressure in the backcourt by Baylor. Joe Bryant gets the ball in his hands, walks it across the midcourt strike. 844 and counting, first half. Leaner right side. That one is good by Christian Eames. Yeah, again, another example of Norfolk State guard shooting in the lane over length, and that's hard to do. Near steal on the perimeter. Could have been a foul there, no call. Flagler has it right wing to George, to Flagler, an open three. No good, left it just short. Going after the ball, Keontae George gets the loose ball. Here's Cryer, leaner, no good. Bomba the rebound, and he's called for another foul. That's his second, and he is uh, hot again after his second personal. Yeah, and with eight minutes to go in the first half, He's probably going to have to take a seat. Yep, here goes Ojin Runa into the ball game. Cryer again, a mid-range uh, floater that just won't go. He's just trying to get one down. And Thamba is doing what he's doing best, and that's get to the offensive glass. He was 10th in the country in offensive rebounding efficiency a year ago, and uh, that's something that he's going to have to do this year, but we're not going to see much of that for the next eight minutes. Yeah, he'll probably sit maybe the remainder of the half with yep. two personal fouls. Norfolk State on the perimeter. Bryant, Eames play catch. Eames looking to penetrate. Pass stolen away by Cryer. Off to the races. To Flagler. Shot is no good, and a charge is called on Adam Flagler. Crowd doesn't like it. Keep Kimball with the call. Foul on Baylor on the bounds. He's got a couple of assists. This guy is just a player. He is. I mean, he's happy to play without the ball. Uh, he, he digs down on the defensive end, and he is a prolific scorer. Only player in double digits in the game. He's got 12. He's only missed one shot from the floor so far tonight. Three rebounds to go along with it. Back to play. Norfolk ball. Pass into the paint. Shot is swatted away by Josh John Runa. How about that coming in from behind to block that shot? Yeah, I mean, he is a rim protector, and he can do that right now coming from the backside. You know, he's got a lot to learn in terms of skill development and just understanding the game because he hadn't played a whole lot, but he can protect the rim right now, and they're going to really need that. Thamba's not the only guy to play that role. Uh, I think, again, this is a guy that, that can come in behind him and be really good even while he's learning to play. Drive pass along the baseline, nowhere to go, threw it away. Christian Ings turnover, Norfolk State. 
And Pat, don't you think there's a real key role for Josh on this team? You know, people say, wow, look at those guards. Yeah, but what do they have inside? Josh is uh, could be a huge answer to that behind Flo Thamba. He can. John Baylor over the last uh, eight or nine years has been uh, consistently one of the top five, ten offensive rebounding teams in the country, and they can't lose that. And you got to figure out where those rebounds are coming from. Ojin Wun is a guy that can really help there. And again, rim protection in the Big 12 is critical. And I think by the time Big 12 play rolls around, he's going to be ready for that. Deontay George, ball knocked out of his hands in the corner. Five seconds on the shot clock as they put the ball in play. Ten turnovers by Norfolk State so far in the first half, only five by Baylor. Flagler, runner, no, tip, no. Scramble for that loose ball. And it's Daryl Anderson who comes away with it. Junior out of North Chesterfield, Virginia. Underneath, Josh, John Runa whistled for the foul in the second. I thought the, the opener, John, against Mississippi Valley State, really an area of focus, I think, for Baylor or improvement was uh, transition defense. I thought in that game, and it got a little bit out of hand, and so it was just an up and down the floor kind of game. But I thought in transition, and particularly in the second half, Mississippi Valley scored a lot of points. And we're seeing a, a bit of a glimpse of that. Norfolk State in the half court has been okay, but that's really not where they've been able to score. Uh, they've got now uh, six fax break points in the ball game. So Flagler not only lost his shoe, somehow he lost his sock in there. <laughs> the shoe came off, he tossed it away, they came down the floor. All of a sudden, he's uh, putting his sock and his shoe back on. You know, that's quick. That's you're so quick, you lose a shoe. <laughs> yeah. How about you're so quick, you lose a sock? I don't think I've ever seen that before. No, it's, uh, it's impressive. And John, you know, he, the other night, seeing all the substitutions, we're going to see another glimpse of that tonight. It looks sort of chaotic over there. You know, guys in, guys out, guys in, guys out. There's a method to that madness. They're trying to figure out right rotations and uh, which five plays best together. And so, you know, they're in the process of trying to put their top eight or nine together by the time conference play rolls around. You big man out there for Norfolk State. You saw Yoro Sadibi with the free throws. 6'7", 220-pound junior from Dakar in the Senegal. Free throws make it 30 to 19, Baylor on top. There's ball. Cryer saves that possession to Bonner into the paint. Shot no good. Put back. And a foul. Throws coming for Baylor. Just a little slow getting up. It appears to be okay. You know, the Bears with six offensive rebounds. We talked about their prowess on the offensive glass. Ocean Wuna going hard. Really lost his balance and mm. fell to the floor. But, but again, not only do you want the offensive rebound, but you want points out of it. Now he'll go to the free throw line and have a couple of opportunities. But uh, you got to get second chance points. Baylor with six offensive rebounds, but not a second chance point in the game. And I'm telling you, that has been their staple since 2013-14 yeah. among na national leaders on the offensive glass. It's scary when you got bodies on the floor and you're Ooh. up there like that. Ojean Rinna appears to be okay as he's up. One of two free throws. There's now 10 of 12 shooting free throws here in the first half. 31-19 lead for the Bears. Under six minutes on the clock. First half in the Farrell Center. Game two of the season for the Bears, who are 40-4 and four against unranked opponents over the last two years. Game three of the season for Norfolk State. Favorites to win the MEAC again this year. There's the range. There's that three-point shooting ability by Joe Bryant, Jr. Yeah, he's so strong. I mean, that shot, John, was from about 29 feet out. And it's a shot they don't want to give it to him. They pressured him. But uh, that's where you want shots coming from. You, with that pressure, you push the other team's offense out as far as you can. But Bryant responded. He's got seven in the first half. It's 31-22. George, Ooh. another three-pointer rattles it in. And he's got the green light. He can take that shot anytime he wants it because more times than not, he's going to make it. And just the ability to jump up so quickly with that release and get a shot away and make it is phenomenal. Five of six now from the floor. Leads all scores with 15. 15 points. Steal by Bonner up the floor in a hurry. George. Shot no good. Ojan Rona the offensive rebound for the Bears. 
Pass back out, stolen by Bryant. Bryant, an uncontested layup at the other end. Timeout, Norfolk State after the steal and the bucket, 34-24. Bears lead it by 10. Quick timeout called by Norfolk State head coach. Play tournament typically as a low seed, which means we're going to play a high seed. And we're going to get to where we're winning those games. They won a big one, John, 2012 That's against right. Missouri. Remember that? <laughs> yes. Uh, what a huge win. But he wants more of that. And, I mean, he is he is determined about it. And so far, they, his team has cut the lead to 10 with 439 to go in the first half. It's not a bad spot to be in. They looked like they were going to get blown out there for a while. Got the rebound here after the miss by Bonner. Trying to cut it to single digits on this possession. There is a foul, I think, on Bonner on that drive by Terrence Jones. Think about that win over uh, over Missouri, 2012 NCAA tournament. Norfolk State was a 15 seed, beat second seed Missouri. Only the second time that had happened at that point in the NCAA tournament. Remember Missouri, their game right before that? They won the Big 12 tournament over Baylor in Kansas City on their way out the door to uh, a new conference. So uh, Missouri had, had beaten Baylor, and they lost to Norfolk State first round of the tournament. Yeah, well, Norfolk State now is a team that feels like it belongs every single year in the tournament. And they've been there the last couple of years. Got whacked pretty good by Gonzaga two years ago. Baylor handled them easily a year ago. But they're going back. I mean, this is a team that's favored, uh, heavily favored to win their league, win their tournament, and they'll be right back there. And that's what they're playing for. Baylor tonight. Uh, UCLA on the road, Houston. Uh, their pre-conference schedule is about getting better. And right now, you know, they've, they've made it a ball game with four and a half minutes to go in the half. Jalen Bridges, tough rebound there on the missed free throw. Bears by nine. It is single digits, 4.07 to play before halftime. Nice run by Norfolk State. Bears have helped them. They've missed six of their last seven shots from the floor. Bonner to George. Really quick, isn't he? Flagler, a three. Shot no good. Dante George, four of six from three-point range. The rest of the team is two of ten. Yeah, ball never got into the lane on that possession. It was passing around the perimeter. Bonner tried to break the defense down, couldn't. I mean, this is a pretty good defensive team they're playing tonight. But uh, ball's got to get in the lane. You want threes coming from the inside out, not from the outside in. On the perimeter. Miller digs in defensively. Shot clock at five. Laner, good and a foul. Giving the bucket chance at a three-point play for Norfolk State. Foul is on Baylor. Zach Loveday just on the floor. Go in the NCAA tournament against Baylor. But uh, by the way, add 12 rebounds a game to Bankston's 16 points. Mm, wow. This guy's averaging a double-double coming in. Uh, I tell you, right now the game is going their way. They've cut the lead to seven. Free throw here makes it six with 319 to go. Baylor led by as many as 15 in the first half. And right now it's a ball game. 34-28 lead cut to six. Pass to George, nearly stolen. Nice pass to Zach Loveday on the assist by Keontae George. Yeah, great press attack that time. Not a whole lot of dribbling. Looked a little clunky there for a second, but uh, got a pass up the floor. And then George very quick to find the open guy. That's a way to break the pressure. He goes back to eight for the Bears. Under three minutes to play, first half. Zach Loveday getting some first half minutes for the Bears. Drive kick, three in the air is no good. Loose ball tipped out. Should be Baylor's ball, and it is, says Gary Maxwell. It's three up there by George Beal Jr. LJ Cryer is back on the floor. Dale Bonner goes to the bench. Briar Flagler George, the uh, three guards on the floor for Baylor. Don't you think we'll see three guards a lot, maybe most of the time this oh, yeah. year? Yeah, we might even see four, John, yeah. at times. Here's another three by George, a little bit short. Yeah, we might even see four at times. And uh, with that, you got to have good rebounding guards because what you gain in guard play with three on the floor, you might lose on the glass. Another three by Brian. And, John, it is a five-point game. We talk about spreading the wealth. Norfolk is now 
able to pass the ball, dribble drive into the lane from their guards, and they've got 14 points in the paint compared to just eight for Baylor. Wow. 12 in the first half by Joe Bryant, Jr. Gonna be part of that. There's Cryer from the corner. Three attempts, skips over the rim, shot no good. Terrence Jones rebounds. You know, again, ball's not going into the lane. It's got to get there on the drive, but uh, last couple times offensively for Baylor, a lot of passing around the perimeter, but with those guards, you got to break the defense down. You got to turn the corner on somebody, get to the free throw line, draw another defender, and uh, just haven't been able to do that. Flo Kamba back on the floor. Remember uh, two early fouls, neither of which he agreed with. Caleb Lohner is back on as well. Bridges, Love Day, go to the Baylor bench. Well, without Jordan Turner again tonight, Turner, Turner uh, has that wrap on his right wrist. Did not play Monday, not available this evening. Good ball movement by the Bears. Cross pass to Flagler. Three ball is good. That's exactly what I was talking about, John. The ball's got to get in the lane. And that's a three, again, from the inside out. Cryer into the lane on the dribble, pulled the defense away from his teammates, and found the open guy. And it was just catch and shoot for Adam Flagler. And a great play. There it is. Flag, I mean, Cryer into the lane, right back out. That's the way threes ought to get created. And, and what the Bears have been doing uh, over the last three or four minutes, which I think has allowed Norfolk to get back into the game and just pass it sort of around the horn. And uh, unless you're making shots, that's not all that effective. And then positioning under the bucket, uh, Fla uh, Flo Thamba was fouled by Yoro Sidibe. Sidibe picks up his second personal foul. The Bears get the bucket, then shooting free throws. Now Bears got to the line early and often, but uh, have struggled to get back there. Although in the first half, they're about to take free throw number 14. It's off, but uh, again, Bears able to get to the line. Don't have a lot to show for it. 39-31, the Baylor advantage nearing the one-minute mark in the first half here in the Farrell Center. Haynes. Bryant has it top of the key. One minute to play in the half. Anderson back to Bryant looking against Stamba kick into the corner three ball is good by Christian E. Tell you, that's what you want a point guard to do Joe Bryant just uh, very calmly but strongly and purposefully got the ball into the lane drew the defense away and kicked it out Flagler looks to answer and he does a three by Adam Flagler Eames is down on the floor See what happened there, but uh, first thing he says is one of the best screeners I've ever had. You huh. think a screener, really? Yeah, that's valuable. He, he respects that, and knows oh, how important it is. That's right. And when you've got guards, uh, you've got to go screen for them and, and give them a bit of a head start. Nobody better at a uh, top of the key kind of screen than Flo Thamba. Here's steal in the backcourt by Flagler. Bryant brings it across the timeline. Five seconds difference in the two clocks. Nearing the end of the first half, Bears lead by eight. Bears led by as much as 13, I think. We'll double check. 15 was the Bears' largest lead at 30 to 15. Seven seconds to go on the shot clock. Brian pack pedals. Three, now two. Puts it up over Cryer. Shot no good. Saves the ball inbounds. But no, he didn't save it in bounds. It's going to stay with Norfolk State with 3.1 seconds to go in the half. Yeah, and they've got time to get a playoff. Uh, again, this this finish by Norfolk State has been really good and strong. Actually, okay, Caleb Lohner will inbound it. So uh, he did step on the out-of-bounds line. Okay. But again, 3.1 seconds. You can advance it. It's a quick pass way up the floor. Got to catch the inbounds pass moving towards the uh, other end. Well, folks, not going to let that happen. But 3.1 seconds, more time than you think. Inbounds to Cryer. Inside the midcourt stripe. Gets a good look at the three, and it's no good. Bears got a good shot there. A good look with 3.1 seconds on the clock. Three ball, no good. So the lead is eight at halftime. Norfolk State looking to do is dribble drive. They've got the guards to be able to do it. You know, you think about it. A year ago, John, James Akinjo was a born-to-be-a-point-guard kind of guy. He's gone, and they really don't have that this year, but they still have guys that can get the ball. Flagler playing the point right now into the lane. That's where it needs. Threes need to come from inside out, not outside in. 
Bears by eight as we begin the second half in the Farrell Center. Bears shoot to the half of the floor in front of their bench. Working around the perimeter. Bridges, a three is no good. So the first shot of the second half is another three. Norfolk State, again, took a pretty good chunk of momentum into the locker room at halftime. He is an air ball by Joe Bryant. He'll hear it the rest of the night. He will, but I promise you his coach is saying, keep shooting. <laughs> yeah. You keep firing that thing. Not putting the leash on him. No, sir. Baylor students uh, will let Joe Bryant hear about it. Great student turnout tonight here in the Farrell Center. On a big weekend for Baylor Athletics. Baylor football hosting Kansas State in a blackout at the Plain Stadium tomorrow night. You know, L.J. Cryer is one for eight from the floor, which is sort of unheard of. Quick travel. Wow. Baylor will get it back. But, you know, John, we said at halftime, uh, Baylor settling for threes. And the first two shots of the second half have been threes. Now, when L.J. Cryer is that wide open, he needs to shoot it. No matter where it came from, right. he needs to let it go. But you kind of get the point. Uh, the ball needs to be in the lane. I mean, we, Norfolk State has said, we're here to play. We're, we're going to make a run here. Bears need to get into the groove. Entry pass, knocked away and stolen. A little bit of miscommunication there. Spartans have it back. Played a minute 18 of the second half. Neither team has scored yet. Bryant has the ball knocked away. Keontae George runs it the opposite direction. To a streaking Jalen Bridges. Sneaking a little bit too fast, and he's whistled for the charge. You know, that's a great play by Bryant. The lone defender, that's really about the only option available to him in that spot, in that situation. And uh, Bridges just was a little bit out of control. And I think Bryant anticipated that, stepped up and took the punishment. That's a great play to get the ball back for Norfolk State. Third personal on Jalen Bridges. He'll stay out there. It's the starting five that's on the floor for the Bears. Backcourt pressure by Baylor. Ball in the hands of Bryant. Opposite number four, LJ Cryer picks him up in the backcourt. You know, the Bears, uh, John, in the first half had a couple of 8-0 runs, 11-0 runs. Need to have a run here to start the second half. Neither team taking control of the ball game to get out of the gate here in the second, two minutes in. There's Flagler for three in the right corner, and it's good. Adam Flagler, his fourth made three in the game tonight. And again, that's a great example of good shot, better shot, best shot. Three passes, and the ball ended up in the hands of uh, Adam Flagler, who's been on fire. Mid-range jumper left side is good by George Beal. First points of the second half for Norfolk State. Bears lead by nine, two and a half minutes in. You know, Norfolk State has gone, looks like, to his zone defense. It was man-to-man -man almost exclusively in the first half, but they're trying to guard the three. It was slow to the game on that one. And you know, George made him pay. The ball moved quicker than the defense could shift. And again, George doesn't need a lot of room to get a shot away. Deontay George, his fifth May three of the night. He's got 18 in the game. Bears lead by 12. Top. He said, I have never gotten as nervous. I never got as nervous yeah. as a head coach as I am now, just on the sidelines watching my son as a head coach. Uh, but one of the most delightful guys, John, I mean, I know he's a legendary college basketball coach, but there's not a nicer guy on the planet. It's great having him around. Amen to that. Always great when he's here. We appreciate Homer and Janet Drew. It's a steal by Baylor. Cryer up the floor to Bridges, and he lays it in. Fast break bucket, and that ought to ignite the crowd. This is a, a healthy Baylor home crowd. They haven't had much to cheer about the first three and a half minutes of the second half. Bryant at the rim, and it falls off. No good. Bears with the rebound. Bears with a chance to put string some points together here, now leading by 14. Bridges, three is good. Jalen Bridges, the three. Again, John, this team has such firepower and can score in bunches. An 8-0 run now over the last 47 seconds. 
and they've extended the lead now to 53-36. It happened so quickly. Just like it that. is just offensive firepower. Each of the four guards can really score. And right now, consider Bridges a guard. Bridges pull up jumper. Nice shot by Joe Bryant. Joe Bryant quiets the crowd momentarily. Snaps that 8-0 scoring run by the Bears. Bears have hit four in a row. Crowd starting to get into it here in the second half. Friday night in Waco. Deontay, the lob down low for Thamba. Assist Deontay George. It's another aspect of his game that is just so impressive. That time he sort of spread the floor. He was guarded by one guy. Didn't even need a ball screen. Got it into the lane on the dribble. Pulled the defense up from the baseline away from Thamba. And just a nice little pass for his third assist in the game. Ooh, Thamba goes down. He's holding his ankle. Driving a layup is good by Christian Ings. Low immediately reached down for his left ankle. He's kind of flexing that foot. Point lead over Norfolk State. It's 55-40. Baylor on top. Four and a half minutes gone. Second half. Pat, quite a, uh, an impressive start by the Bears in the second half. Yeah, I mean, their ability to put runs together. We talk about scoring in bunches with these guards. They can do that. They've made their last five shots and extended the lead. I mean, this is a close game at halftime. Baylor's now extended it to 15 and looking for more here. There's breaks some pressure in the backcourt and attack. Bounce pass by George. Knocked away and stolen. Turnover Bears. Bryant. Let's the defender fly by. His three is short. Blow Thamba stays out there. That's a good sign. Looked like he had uh, sprained that ankle, but he stays on the floor. The Bears avoid a turnover there. Ball goes out of bounds off of L.J. Cryer. Kimball right there. Why aren't we uh, proud of Keith Kimball? Waco zone, and he is recognized as one of the top officials in the college game. You know, and he was intentional about making that move i mean when i used to play at the y i yeah. play with keith he, very quickly he he uh, moved from playing to officiating he officiated oh. games at the y is that right and now he is as good as it gets blow gamba the block bears run it the other way flagler to george flagler to crier for three no good left side of the rim Boy, Cryer uh, can't yeah. buy a bucket tonight. One for ten. And again, John, I don't know that he's ever been one for ten. Yeah. Up the floor in a hurry. Keontae George bounces to Bridges. Ball knocked out of bounds. And a foul. That's going to be on Jill Bryant. That is his second. You know, the good news is, John, with, with Cryer having a, a night like he's having, uh, there's so much room for error in the Baylor backcourt. You can have a guy go one for ten. George is six for nine. Flagler four for eight. So uh, there's there's plenty of firepower to go around. Have a look at it. Just a dish there by Keontae George to uh, Jalen Bridges. Mm -hmm. Bears was good. Bears lead by 16. Got a quiet 13 in the game, does Bridges. This guy's a nice addition. He was uh, uh, an, a member of the all Big Tw uh, all freshman team, Big 12, two years ago at West Virginia. And as a freshman, he was a 49% three-point shooter. That's as a freshman. Yeah. So a nice addition for uh, Scott Drew and his team. Just Drew. plays, plays hard, and very quietly again in this game. Now has 14. Break of the pressure there, under the bucket, and shot is good, and a foul. Chance at a three-point play coming. Yeah, and that's something Ocean Wunder will, will learn, is if you're going up for that block right here, that shot doesn't get off. I mean, you know, he's got a foul to give. Uh, you foul him, you know, whatever it takes to keep him getting the shot away, nothing malicious, but I think he'll learn as he begins to understand the game a little more. That, that, that's just, you put him at the free throw line. Free throw is good by Ings, a three-point play. He's got 15 on the night. It's 57-43. Bears on top. Ings now the leading scorer. Yeah. State. Adam Flagler answers for the Bears. Yeah, they're coming in droves now. I mean, the Baylor guards are really starting to heat up. Del Bonner in the game right now for Cryer. 
and uh, it, it's start, they're starting to separate. The lead at 16 now. Bears have made six of their last seven shots. Bounce on the baseline. Ojamaruna holding his uh, ground, and it's going to be a jump ball. The alternate possession arrow favors Norfolk State. A little more difficult for Norfolk State to score here in the second half. I mean, they've uh, they've got nine points, but they finished the half on a roll, and they just haven't been able to find that groove. The Baylor defense has been really good. I think Del Bonner at the guard spot defensively on Bryant has been outstanding. Thanks to Love back on the floor for the Bears. Ings drives, shot, no good. In traffic, rebound, put back, no, by Dana Tate, but a foul. So free throws coming for the Spartans who are playing number five Baylor tonight. They'll play number eight UCLA coming up on Monday. Now that's a road trip. Well, that's a road trip. <laughs> but you know, those, what, what they're trying to do, I mean, they're, they're, their road to the NCAA tournament is their league and their, their MIAC tournament, which they have uh, won the last two years. But what they're trying to do now, I mean, obviously they came here to, to win. But they want to get better, and uh, you get better by playing as good as college basketball has to offer. And those three you just identified fall into that category yeah. for sure. Houston in that mix as well. A couple of free throws good by Dana Tate. Senior out of Boston, Massachusetts. The pressure in the backcourt. Flagler flies through it. Alley oop attempt off the rim and out of bounds. Yeah, and John, again, that's inexperience. And, and that's why Ojinwuna is playing so much, is they've got to accelerate his growth. Uh, that's a play, I think, you know, in a matter of weeks, he's going to make. You anticipate where the ball's coming from. You could see Flagler taking it into the lane, and he's going to be a target. I don't think he really understood that. And he, he wasn't ready to be a receiver of the pass. So he'll figure that out. Drive, runner, shot no good, tip no good. There's a whistle and a foul. Foul's going to be on Langston Love. That is his first tonight. So free throws coming for Norfolk State. Yeah, the, the guy that was fouled is Chris Bankston, and he's a double-digit, uh, well, double-double average scorer and rebounder uh, for this team. He only has three and has yet to get a rebound. He just never got on track. Norfolk State doesn't have the depth that Baylor has, so those guys that are really going to have to produce have to do it consistently, and Bankston uh, just has not been able to get it going tonight. Well, he finally gets to the free throw line. He'll have a chance to get back in the scoring column. Yeah, Keith Kimball explaining uh, the foul, I guess, or the free throws. And the question was, should there be free throws coming? But there are two being shot by Bankston. He missed the first one. Hits the second. 59-46 our score. Bears lead by 13. It was an eight-point Baylor advantage at halftime. Yeah, the Spartans have stayed within striking distance. 13 is not insurmountable. But the Bears have just consistently been able to separate when they've had to. Got the lead down to six. And uh, Bears go on an 8-0, 10-0 run which has really been their M.O. in this game. It's a nice matchup here. Bryant guarding Adam Flagler. Five to shoot. Flagler, pull-up jumper. Yeah! <laughs> what, what are you going to do yeah. about that? And Bryant is a really good defender. It was just mano a mano. Bryant on Flagler. And uh, Flagler sort of cleared the floor and just went to work. He's a mid-range scorer. I mean, he can do it at each level. He can make threes, get into the lane, as we saw there, and finish at the rim. First team, all Big 12, Adam Flagler with the bucket. Three from the corner is no good. Ujan Runa with the rebound for the Bears. That's a serious rebound. That was a strong rebound. Here's Dale Bonner drives in, kicks it out to Love for three. It's no good. Rebounded by Daryl Anderson. It's great penetration by Bonner, though, and his ability to get it into the lane and look out to the perimeter and find somebody who is open. And, Love was wide open. Good play. Just wouldn't go down. Open three by Tate is no good. There's a built the lead to 15. They've led by as much as 17 here in the game. Flagler to Love. Back to Flagler. 
Love for three. It's good from the right hand corner. Bears have their largest lead tonight. Yeah, Flacker again is the guy that's just stirring it up. I mean, he is. He's been around here forever. He's mature. He's wise. He's calm. He's experienced. And you know, when when Baylor's looking to separate, the ball is typically going to be in his hands. 64-46, Baylor on top. As Bryant breaks through the defenders and lays it in. He's limping slightly. He uh, maybe tweaked his ankle a little bit a couple of minutes ago. He's going to stay out there, and he digs in defensively as Flagler brings it across the timeline. You know, Bonner's a guy, John, unsung, really not a high-profile guy, but he's going to get minutes because he's so consistent, and he does exactly what we just saw him do. Into the lane, kick it out. Love again for three. No good. Oh, John Rito, the rebound and the putback for Baylor. Like that. And, and that's where he can help, I think, immediately. Offensive glass, get the ball back up immediately, get to the free throw line, whatever it takes. But the Bears have uh, had a number of offensive rebounds, but very little to show for it. In fact, that's only their third second chance point of the game. Head fake, shot up, and a foul. Caleb Lo Loner got him off his feet. Well, that free throw's coming for Norfolk State following the timeout. 9.54 to play in the ball game. Injury, it's that guy right there. Yeah, and, and Baylor misses him for a lot of different reasons, not the least of which is he was the co-defensive player of the year in the Big 12 a year ago. Yeah. You think about that, and only played, what, half of the conference games. That's right, that's yeah, right. That's pretty good defense. Yeah. And that's the respect that he has across the league uh, from the coaches and players. Uh, but... We do know he's a little ahead of schedule. Don't know exactly what that means, but it uh, sure would be nice to have him back. Boy, such a long road back, rehabbing after that knee injury. When he did about everything bad you can do to your knee and surgery the very next day. So it's been a long rehab process. And uh, Again, every time I come over here, he's he's working in the, in yeah. the uh, weight room. Yeah, and what an attitude. Yeah. It's uh, unbelievable. It's infectious, really. Do yourself a favor, if you haven't seen it, just search on YouTube, Jonathan Chumwa Chachua, and a uh, great video put together in his own words, tells about the injury and what he's been through and what he continues to go through in the rebound. Foul on the drive. Flagler, his second on the night. There's a three players with three fouls each. Bridges, John Luna, and Loner. We haven't seen much of L.J. Cryer here in the second half. Just had a rough night shooting the ball. He is uh, one for ten, which is just almost unbelievable. Here's steal on the perimeter by Dale Bonner. Ball goes out of bounds. Quick hands there. You know, again, Bonner's a guy, John, that uh, didn't shoot the ball a year ago very well. Hadn't shot it much tonight. Was lights out in Baylor's first game of the season. But uh, he, he is a guy that does... Everything you ask him to do, particularly on the defensive end. And now in this game, that three with nine minutes to play brings Norfolk State within 14. Nine minute mark, Chris Ford with the jumper, top of the key. Pryor and Keontae George on the bench. There's Flagler. Flagler a leaner with two more. You know, I remember John, Coach Tang, a year ago when he was still on this staff, called Adam Flagler a mid-range monster. <laughs> That's right. And I just, it's exactly what he does. He, he can score at any level, but uh, a couple of dribbles over length in the lane, he's really good. Drive shot no good by Sidibe. Bears quickly the other way. Bridges an open three. It's no good from the corner. Langston Love flies in, can't get the rebound. Saved in, Thamba up, he's hammered from behind. Flo Thamba will have free throws for the Bears. It's about time that the Bears got back to the free throw line. They were 10 of 14 in the first half. They've taken just two free throws here in the second. And we've talked a lot about how uh, the Bears' ability to get to the free throw line is greatly enhanced with all the guards that they're bringing in because what those guys can do is, is get into the lane and, and uh, get fouled or create opportunities where the, the defense is at a disadvantage and they've got a foul. And uh, haven't been able to do that here in the second half. 
that's a, I think that's a real upside for this team is to get to the free throw line, get the right guys to the free throw line so they can make them. Time by one or two free throws. Bridges the rebound. He's tied up. The possession arrow favors Baylor. So the Bears will keep the ball there, half of the floor, leading now 69 to 52. Every time Norfolk State has gotten close, Baylor's been able to separate. And it's just, the, again, the ability, it's sort of instant offense. When the Bears got to put pedal to the metal, get a couple of threes down, get a steal, whatever, they've been able to do it against a good Spartan basketball team. These guys are legit. Yeah, Norfolk State will win a lot of games this year, most likely win their league, the MEAC. Part of the scheduling for Baylor. Oh, nice pass. Thamba fouled again. Bamba will shoot free throws after a timeout. 7.54 on the block. Bears lead by 17. Fam here at Baylor and beyond. David Kay works with Athletic Communications, an Army veteran himself. David is our guest on the Sikkim podcast this week and talks about that experience. Two years at Baylor, active service, and came back and finished his degree here at Baylor. Yeah, and it's still very meaningful to him very. and uh, very meaningful. And, uh, you know, it's it shaped him and molded him. One of the best guys in the business. And uh, it's interesting to... to you know, revisit some of that with him, but all that is to say that's powerful stuff. And hug a veteran today. Yeah, absolutely. Three from the corner. Joe Bryant Jr. knocks it down, giving 19 on the night. And that leads to all scores, makes it 69 55. And that's just what the doctor ordered for them coming out of that break. Needing the three, the lead now. Uh, it's, it's manageable. It's 14, but with seven and a half to play, they now have the ball. They can make a run. Spartans bring the missed layup the other way. Now Christian Eames slows things down. Connor has him defensively. A screen on the perimeter, a switch, and a pass underneath for the dunk to Chris Bankston. Yeah, that didn't look good. I mean, that, that guard on the perimeter for Norfolk State uh, went over a couple of screens and then finally turned the corner on, like, the third Baylor defender that came out there after him and uh, finished with an easy play. So that's five in a row, John, coming out of the break for Norfolk, and they've cut the lead to 12. They kind of like where they are in light of where they were about uh, five minutes ago. Nelly Gary's in Maryland, then that game with Houston on November 29th. Tough schedule for Norfolk State, but Coach Jones in his 10th year, yep. he knows what they need in the non-conference. Yeah, and John, they've got four starters back from the team that played Baylor in the first round of the NCAA tournament, and I think they're better. I really do. I mean, Baylor started three guys in that game that are no longer with the program, Meyer, Kinjo, and Sohan, so it's a little different look for the Bears, but this is a serious basketball team, Norfolk State. Nice give, drive on the baseline, shot no good, bridges the rebound for the Bears. Yeah, that game a year ago, the uh, final was 85 to 49. Bears really pulled away in the second half. There's Cryer knocking down the three. There he is. You know, if he's one for ten, you just feel like, I mean, if he's a career 50% three-point shooter, you know, the next ten he's going to make most of them. <laughs> That's right. And he's just not going to quit shooting, and I don't blame him. He's out there to fire it away. 5.50 to go. Bears up 72-57. Entry pass. This is on Thamba. And it is. Personal number four on Bears Big Man. You know, a little different look in this game, John. Uh, the opener was a, a blowout. Bears scored 117 points. Uh, we talked about the need, really, for any team, but a team that's got newcomers to be stress tested. I think they got a little bit stress tested yeah. tonight. And still a long way to go, five and a half minutes. But. Uh, Bears will be stress tested next week as well. They'll go to the tournament in Las Vegas, Baylor, Virginia, UCLA, and uh, Illinois. Uh, but I think the more they they play high quality competition, wrestle with some stuff as a team, and, and just get better, I mean that's going to serve them well come conference time. Thanks in a couple of free throws for Norfolk State. 117 points, by the way. One shy of the Farrell Center scoring record. Coach Drew said, oh, man, if I'd known that. <laughs> if he'd have known that. <laughs> yeah, that stuff really does matter to yeah. you. Yeah. 
117 to 53 was the final over Mississippi Valley State. Six Baylor players in double figure scoring. Bridges open for a three, and he knocks it in. Quick three. I mean, another quick three, but that's really, uh, it's really worked for the Bears tonight, even though that one was just after one pass. That's an early three, but I guess when you got guys that can shoot it like the Bears can, pretty good offense. Joe Bryant, the floater, shot no good. Did a good job to avoid contact there on that shot in the paint. Now a reset of the shot clock with 5.05 remaining. 11 to shoot. Thanks to again. Nice pass. Shot up and in on the baseline with a foul. Yeah, that's a really nice play by Brown along the baseline. And uh, he had to go over a lot of length. Watch him finish this play. There are three Baylor guys. And uh, one of those was Ojin Wuna. And he just went up and uh, took whatever punishment he was going to get and finished at the rim. That's a big play. And now he'll have a chance to tag on, uh, tack on a, a free throw and make it a three-point play and cut the lead to 13 if he can get it down. And he does. Just under five minutes to play. 13-point game here in the Farrell Center. Shooting percentages at this point in the game almost dead even. 48% for Norfolk State, 49% for Baylor. Around the perimeter, George, head fake. Nice pass to Bridges. Shot up and in, and a foul. It's a great pass. I mean, it was so quick. He sees the floor so well, he anticipates so well. Uh, Bridges, the recipient of the pass, caught exactly when he needed to. Little head and shoulder fake, got room to work, and then kicked it to Bridges. That is a really nice play by a prolific scorer who, again, John, doesn't mind sharing the ball. That is his sixth assist of the ball game. Now, what's it like when you, when you try to guard against uh, Keontae George or draw up a game plan against him? You know he can shoot. You know he can score. Right. Quick release. But when he adds that ability to, to dish the ball off, it's just a, a, a second level of danger. It is. It's like choose your poison. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you, you get up and take space away from him as a defender. He's going to go around you. If you don't, he's going to shoot it down. He's going to make a three. Uh, he's just a really dangerous player and a nightmare to try to guard. 16-point lead for the Bears. Drive, lost the ball. Rolls out of bounds, finally. Over to Baylor it goes. So turnover by Norfolk State. Turnover's uh, fairly even this evening. That's number 17 on the Spartans. 14 against Baylor. And this is, uh, John, I think what we expected. Baylor coaches were... were uh, a little nervous about this one. This is a team that Norfolk State has circled this game on its schedule after the really embarrassing loss in the first round of the tournament. And they've acquitted themselves well. The, the separation might be more than they can overcome with four minutes to go. Cryer looking for a second three shot no good. Bryant can't save it inbounds. Great effort by Bryant. Going to stay with the Bears after a timeout. Bridges now leads on the state here on the 23rd, day before Thanksgiving, in a trip to Marquette. That is a road game at Marquette, November 29th. Northern Colorado comes in Monday. Coach Drew's uh, nephew is on that Northern Colorado team. Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. And uh, the well, one game that is not on that upcoming schedule, uh, circle this one, December yeah. the 2nd, Gonzaga. Yeah. That might be fun. Uh, that would be the next game after Marquette. It'll be uh, at the Pentagon in South Dakota. Gonzaga survived by one point tonight. You know, George knew that shot was going in the second he let it go. He was just so confident. Little head and shoulder fake got the defender off of his feet out of the play, and it was just target practice for George after that. Pat, that is the 15th made three tonight by the Bears as a team. First time they've had this many since 15 against Texas Tech, March 7th of 2021. Yeah, 15 of their 26 made field goals have been three. Wow. Here come the Bears, the alley oop on the play. Beautiful assist. Prior to George for the bucket. Time out, Norfolk State. Really good at 20-23 tonight 
by Keontae George, who's uh, still out there on the floor with 3.05 remaining. You know, look at this line, John. He's got 23, 8 of 11 from the floor, 6 of 9 from the three-point line. He's got five rebounds. He's got six, six assists. You just can't really put a, a better stat line together than that. We still have three minutes to play. Drive, Loner staying with him, but a foul on Caleb Loner. Oh, nice to see one of your uh, old fraternity brothers, John Lee Hancock, here tonight. John Lee Hancock into his left, Kerry Gray, a couple Kerry old buddies Gray. of mine. We Very go way, nice. way, way, way back. What's John Lee Hancock done? Has he done anything in the uh, business world? I think he's in the movie on Baylor. <laughs> yeah, uh, the Blind Side. I think he had something to do with that, and, yes. and the list goes on. Yeah. Oh, it's so impressive. Keep running into these guys that were your uh, fraternity brothers, and they're all just wildly <laughs> successful. <laughs> in life. I was on the junior including varsity. You. No, that's right. including you. Well, I will say Paul Foster was a fraternity Paul brother Foster, too. That's he right. falls into that latter category, or maybe the former category, <laughs> right? Not the latter. You previously mentioned Foster Pavilion. <laughs> yeah. Fight for that rebound, and coming up with it was the shooter and a pass to Bankston who dunks it. So Norfolk State comes out of that missed free throw in the second attempt with a bucket. Makes it 83-65. There's a little ball control now. And it's a little different lineup. Ocean Luna and Loner, I don't think, have been on the floor together much at all. So, again, method to the madness. They will chart all of this and figure out the combinations that play best together. Broke him down there, missed the three. Bears get the rebound. Keep it alive. 2.20 to play. Pryor has the ball for the Bears, who lead it 83 to 65. To Flagler, to Ojan Wuna, he is fouled on the baseline. It's a good look from Flagler. You know, we talked about the point guard position. Uh, really, George and Flagler are kind of sharing that spot. Uh, but both of them are capable. I mean, Flagler uh, has five assists in the game, George with six. So, uh, you know, again, we don't have the James Akinjo kind of point guard that Baylor had a year ago. But those two guys, almost by committee, are playing that spot and playing it well. Flagler, a great example there of what a point guard's on the floor to do is create for others. In that case, on the dribble drive. Well, John Wuno, one for two at the line. Make it one for three tonight. It's one area, John, where the Bears have underperformed in the second half. They just haven't been able to get to the free throw line. And... Uh, in the second half, well, for the game, 14 of 22. Second one is good here, but I think it may be a product of just getting the wrong guys to the free throw line. It's been Thamba, uh, Ojin Runa, some of those guys. It's a 19-point lead for the Bears with 2.04 to play. Really good non-conference uh, uh, game tonight for the Bears against this North Norfolk team that is going to win a lot of games, probably win their conference, probably be in the NCAA tournament. It's very, uh, uh, you know, scheduling for the Bears uh, as in non-conference. There's a method to the madness. There is. And, and, again, this is a team that has four starters back, a 12-letter winners back from last year. So uh, it, it's not a question of uh, will they win. It's how many will they win. And this is a team that uh, is a prohibitive favorite to get to the NCAA tournament out of that league. With Bryant, another bucket at the other end. He's got 21. Foul of Deontay George. He'll go to the line. Fourth personal foul on. Check foul on. Get it to you. Not shooting free throws. Bears will inbound with 126 to play. Inbounds. George, a three. No good. Right corner. Loner the rebound for the Bears. Then has it stripped away. Taken away by George Beal. It's really good defense by Cryer. The cutoff. Known as an offensive guy, but he can defend as well. Really good example there. Another good example there. Wow. Ca uh, caused the turnover, and off to the races goes George. The alley oop. To Loner with the explanation point. George with the assist, Loner with the flush. Bears lead again by 19. He was on the dead run with the ball, and it was such a quick flip up to the uh, right side of the rim. Loner saw it coming, and uh, those two guys made that play look really easy, but I, I promise you it's not. Yeah. Wow. Bryant, another bucket. 
He's having a nice night. Quick plays and the expectations of him coming in. Uh, he's met those. He may have exceeded those. Yeah. Uh, his line tonight is just off the charts. 23 points, 8 of 13 shooting, 5 rebounds, 7 assists. Final 44 and a half seconds of this game. Breyer brings it up. Bounces to Keontae George. Here's right back in action Monday night against Northern Colorado here in the Farrell Center. This win tonight, by the way, for the Bears. There's Cryer for three. Oh, John Wood with the rebound. Win tonight uh, by Baylor will be the 399th of Coach Scott Drew's Baylor coaching career. With that uh, tenure and those wins comes the bling. Coaches were uh, presented... Uh, Earlier tonight with the most recent Big 12 championship ring. Look at that thing. How about that? <laughs> That's a thing of beauty. You know, and we were on the uh, receiving end of those oh. as well, John. I'm How fortunate. You. We uh, both, you and I, have uh, ring cases in our, I mean, as long as we've been doing this, uh, we've, we've accumulated a few rings, uh, primarily yes. under the Scott Drew era. Thanks for including and, us. Oh, my goodness, yeah. Isn't that a thing of beauty? That's oh. the Big 12 championship ring for this past season. 17 seconds to go. Shot clock is off. Langston, leaner, no good. Rebound on John Wuna. And that should do it. Deontay George will dribble out the final seconds here in the Farrell Center of an 87-70 Baylor win over Northam State. The fifth ranked Baylor Bears are 2-0 on the season. And John, they were impressive again against, I thought, a really, uh, a, a, some stiff competition. They got a little bit stressed.